Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema Sit-Down. It is Super Bowl Sunday, which means it's the one day a year in this country that uh, seemingly everybody can agree on something. I, you know, it doesn't matter what religious spheres you're in, or political spheres, or identity spheres, comic book affiliations. Um, no matter where you come from, on Super Bowl Sunday, it certainly seems like the collective whole of the United States finds a couch, a chair, somewhere to sit, a TV to throw on, and consumes this game. You know, it's it's so big, nothing competes against it. Um, I mean, The Last of Us moved to Friday because of the Super Bowl, man, and HBO commands viewership, and that show commands viewership. Like, if your team's not in it, I might have watched The Last of Us it was on, but you don't take those risks, and I'm pumped, man. I, I, I Even though my boys aren't in it, I'm here to watch Kansas City get a dub. I love Travis Kelsey, and I can't in good conscience root for Philadelphia sports teams being a Mets, Nets, Devils, and Cowboys fan. Um, and like I said, TK is my dude. Uh, has helped me win many fantasy games, and of course, big contributor to my fantasy championship this year. So, I'm pumped for some football, but as a movie fan, I'm also pumped for some trailers and in pregame at 6 o'clock, we got our first one already, and I am stoked to see how this movie plays out, because it's going to be very important for whatever is to come in the realm of comic book things I am just dying to see be successful, um, like on an MCU scale, because... If that happens, we're going to be getting some unbelievable storytelling. What am I talking about? Why don't you pull up a chair? Take a seat. We are getting ready to take a look at the official trailer for The Flash. And yes, I know this movie's got controversy because of Ezra Miller. Can't condone, agree, and some of the things that they've done or been accused of doing are, are just vile and, you know, atrocious, honestly. Um, that being said, though, there are a lot of people that work on a movie. And there are a lot of people in this movie that I'm psyched for. I, I want to see what we get with the new Supergirl. I want to see Michael Keaton back as Batman. And I want to see Andy Muschietti's comic book movie. Because from the people that have seen it, it's either the best or one of the best DC movies of all time. And some people are even saying it's the best comic book movie of all time. And you guys know me. Mine's an animated film. Uh, into the Spider-Verse, that, I don't know, like, to be better than that would be insane. And if it's true, I need to see it. So, yes, we're going to have two Ezras. But, and yes, Warner Brothers has said, you know, with them working on things and in therapy and apologizing, um, they're open to working with them. But let's be real. Just real quick. There's no way Ezra Miller remains the Flash. Um... You just can't. They're a superhero. Little kids are going to look up to that person on the screen. And that person has done some things that you don't want kids. Like, thinking that that person's a hero. Like, imagine like being a kid going, that's my Flash. And you have it for years. And then you get to like being older and realize they did some terrible things. There's no way. You just can't. And it, it, would, it would... Personally, I think it would collapse... Gun and Saffron's plan right from go. Um, but if this movie can reset the story for this universe and is as good as it says it is, um, I think you could get by. And I have one request. If James Gunn really wants to unite the DC fandom, if in some way, when Barry comes back to the main universe, Barry himself changes that helmet comes off and it's grant gustin i promise you i promise you james gunn and peter saffron i promise you everybody's gonna get on board like or at least most people will and bring in Stephen amell to, to do some you know some arrow stuff like i know that they had talked to amell to be arrow previously and he said he wanted grant and they were like, we're not hiring a TV actor, but these actors need to go across all different realms. If you made Grant Gustin the Flash, everyone will love this movie. And I think everyone will get behind what's what's going on at DC. So, I, I have some crazy dreams and hopes and wishes. Um, and we'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm certainly psyched for this trailer. 
right? Uh, with, with most of the setup that we saw in the last one that came out, I think, last December, um, we know, like, try, I, looks like trying to save his mom. Um, obviously, Keaton is the main Batman in this universe. I hope they keep the Affleck stuff in there. I know I've heard rumors that cameos have been stripped, and maybe all of them, but it felt like Affleck's role was going to be bigger than just a cameo, and it, it was a, an experience that he really enjoyed. So I, I, I hope he's still in there, um, and I would love to just see more of the story. Like, give, give me a better idea of like who the villain is, even though it seems like it's probably going to be Barry Allen as the reverse Flash inside of this universe. Um, but I'd like to see a little bit of that. I need a little bit more action. I need to see Keaton head to toe, front and center. Um, and yeah, I just I want an idea of exactly where this story is going to go, and if it is truly going to be Flashpoint. And if it is Flashpoint... I can't wait to see how, how it sets up whatever comes after. So let's not waste any more time. I've certainly been talking quite a bit. Um, let's make sure I've got these on right, right and left. Let's uh, get the trailer up for you guys. There we go. Um, oh, man. I got a little knot. That's always the worst. But anyway, trailer's up. I'm ready. Hopefully you guys are ready. Let's not waste any more time because there are plenty of trailers coming tonight. Let's take a look at the official trailer for The Flash. Oh, also, Barry's suit. You can go anywhere. Love it. There's Keaton, you hear him? Another timeline. Another universe. Uh, Alright, yep, cool. Affleck is gonna be in it still. They fight to save this one. Woo! Let's go! This is the world where my mom lives. I'm not gonna lose her again. Yep. So they're, they're doing Flashpoint. Time has a pattern. Can't help reliving different people, yes. different worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. Yeah. My face. <laughs> so my face. Ooh, June sixteenth. If you were to go into the past, come on, show me. You have no idea what the consequences. Whoa! Be. Oh, wow! Bruce, fix things. <laughs> yes. I completely broke the universe. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. I created a world with no metahumans. <gasps> and now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? <laughs> no metahumans! That's the guy! Come on, show me the face. Yeah! Ah! Up! You are. Yeah. yeah. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> yes! Oh, look at him! Look at him! This is this is the cell. This is what you gotta lean into, dude. If I can't undo it, was that? That looked like the. If I can't get back. Yeah! Bro! I understand why this movie is happening. Look at this! This is insane! What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. Bro! I... Yo! Park. My name is Kara. I yeah! <laughs> Yo! 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 <laughs> yeah, dude! Holy! My, I think my brain just melted. And there, I, the thing I keep loving about DC, like James Gunn and Peter Safran, have done more for comic books and the comic book industry, specifically the one that they represent, than Marvel and the MCU has and Kevin Feige have done for Marvel Comics ever. Grant Morrison's Batman, Superman, sold out. Authority, sold out. Supergirl, sold out. Like, And I love that Like at the end of the, the Flash trailer, hey, here are the Flash things you should go read. And that's the other thing that I really loved when uh, all of the stuff started to come out about the slate was Gunn and Saffron saying, hey, these are the comics that we were looking at when we, we were doing these things. And... 
like that's the type of stuff where it's like you got three years two three years right like people who aren't comic book fans that maybe get jealous are like oh man i wish i i like that love coming to see like reactions like mine or or let's be real new rock stars right like you you watch those videos to see what the easter eggs are to see how they're adapting these things that you love in the movies well you got years now where you can be one of those people. Go read these books. And when you're sitting in the seat, you can go, oh my gosh, they're pulling from this and from this and from this. I mean, like you can see, even though I think early on, right, I felt like there were rumors that this, like, they're not doing Flashpoint. And maybe they've tweaked some things, right? Like they're not, you're we're not getting Thomas Wayne, Batman and those things. But like, this is the Flashpoint story. And it's not necessarily... Barry going back in time to to save his mom, um, which creates a new universe. But Barry hopping timelines to go to a timeline where his mom is still alive, um, and that's a, that's a, that's a great play, and it gives you the ability to have two Barrys, and probably Barrys that will be opposite from each other. Right, the yellow and black certainly suggests that. Like, I could see how maybe this Barry isn't all good. Um, but, at least in the trailer, it certainly seems like both Barrys are going to be playing on team good. Um, and Zod seems to be the big bad, which is kind of cool. And the concept that, like, Barry created a world without metahumans. Like, the the universe, and the thing that he changes is that metahumans are, don't exist. Outside, I guess, of Kara. Um, but, like, that's it. It's Kara and Batman, it would seem. And, and the other Flash. But it seems that when he gets there, maybe that Barry isn't Flash yet. Because you see the lightning bolt going through him about to hit the other Barry. Which would make me think that that's the moment Barry gets the powers. So, that, I mean, and just the shot, like, I tell you what. Even though the DCU is going to change, right? And this, I think this aesthetic, especially with bringing in Zod and things like that, definitely has a Snyder vibe to it. Like, yo, Andy Muschietti was just born, I think, to direct a comic book movie. But like I said, it looks like you're going to see the origin and, like, both Barry's getting it. We see the, the, the ring, which certainly was, it was an exciting pull. We're getting Affleck, which is great. Um, and I mean, just like the little bits of Batman stuff that they show in here, like, I mean, it just, uh, uh, all, like all of this stuff looks phenomenal. And I love the idea of bringing back Zod. I mean, Michael Shannon, phenomenal actor, and he was a phenomenal villain in that movie. Um, and I'm just like, I'm just fascinated to see how this plays, but like, the Supergirl stuff looks dope. The Batcave looks insane. And, like, getting to see Keaton... for Like, we've seen pictures, but to see the moving images... I mean, him in the Batcave saying I'm Batman, that stuff was gold. The, the, the swooping down, like... Oh, man, dude. The suits never looked better for him. I hope they made it a little bit more comfortable. But, like, the Batman action looks phenomenal. Um... And, like, I'm so here to see... see. Yeah, that's, I think that's Affleck. So, like, it, we're definitely going to get Affleck uh, in here, which is exciting. But, like, I'm just, like... Oh, my God. Like, Kara flying through the... the Like, the, the, like it just... Everything here looks amazing. And I tell you what, if we're not going to get Keaton as the main DCU Batman... I really hope that there's a world where, like, Tim Burton could come back and make an Elseworlds Batman, where you could bring back Batman and Pfeiffer. There were originally rumors that, like, Pfeiffer could have played into this story in some way or made a cameo, or if not, at least in the story of where this Batman was going, because he was supposed to be the DCEU Batman. You know, there were things where, like, Pfeiffer could have been back in play as Catwoman or something like that, which would have been so cool. So, like, knowing that the Elseworlds is there, and I think that's a genius idea from Gunn and Saffron, right? It allows you to have things like Matt Reeves' as Batman, but it also allows you, as you build this world out, like, maybe you get to a Crisis on Infinite Earths bit, and you could have Zack Snyder come back and maybe do another movie with the Justice League or something like that, and not restore the Snyderverse, but keep it in play. Um, 
those are the things that are like cool with the Elseworlds stuff. But like, if this movie does really well and Keaton really did want to come back as Batman, I, I would love to see an Elseworlds where we get like a Batman sequel in that continuity from like the Tim Burton movies. That would be, oh, uh, that would be, that would be so cool. But as far as like what we're get, I mean, like I said, man, watching this in real time, like one. We get we get shots of Batman in broad daylight, which don't happen for I mean like like the sky is blue behind Batman. That's like a that is a striking image. And like everything in the right and just like oh, Kara just floating up there, breaking her out, like everything about what we see is it just looks at like I, I that like the first trailer didn't really give me like greatest superhero movie of all time vibes. This trailer absolutely does. Like I not that I think it's going to be the best superhero movie of all time, but I think like when people say that, seeing that trailer, I'm like, oh, okay. I I, I see I see why that might be a thing. Because the action the superhero action that we get in this trailer, like looks phenomenal like insanely good and i really do love the flash suit like it looks so so excellent and like i said we're getting affleck michael shannon coming back ron livingston there we go that was who i was trying to think of before i couldn't think of of his name um and then obviously what everybody's super excited about sasha Callie's supergirl and i don't think i've seen gun tweet anywhere specifically that they're looking to do a, a, like a recast in that department I think a lot of the success and the vibe and the, like how people uh, feel about Callie will probably determine if they recast or not but based on the trailer like I'm so here for that Supergirl like she looks fantastic and if she hits I would love just to see her come back especially like in there it looks like you're dealing with a supergirl that's a little bit edgier and a little bit tough right like being locked up the way she was like that like that looks like that's a girl that could play like a supergirl that's been living on a, a chip of krypton for for her whole life like I, I, there's just there's nothing in here that I'm not excited about so I think this looks phenomenal um, I, I, I think it really could be everything that we're hearing. And if it is, time to get psyched, man. And you can see, especially with the amount of Keaton that was there in this movie, when it comes to the press tour and when it comes to marketing and when it comes to doing all of those things, like the toys and stuff, like you can push the Batman and the Supergirl stuff easy um, and kind of have them be the people, you know, like if you have Keaton... If you have um, Sasha Calle and you have Ben Affleck as like your three, there's your there it is, man. Right, like you you can Ezra doesn't have to participate in anything here, and I, I think that's that's probably the best for for the film um, and the best moving forward. Like I said, I cannot see them being Flash going forward. Great, Gustin. I'm telling you, James Gunn, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. You won't regret that move. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I've been talking way too long. We got more trailers coming. Uh, we got the Super Bowl coming up. Like, I, I'm I, all the things. So, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What are you thinking about this movie? One, with Ezra being the lead, are you in or out? Two, if you are in, how stoked are you? Do you think this could be the best DC or the best comic book movie of all time? Um, where, where, like, what type of excitement did this elicit? And if you are unsure, what, like, what here is reaffirming your unsureness about this movie? Like I said to me, I looks like a muscle watch, man. Like it looks like a banger. Um, so anything you guys got, man, good, bad, indifferent on the official trailer for the Flash, put it down below in the comment section. Look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, you want to come hang out with the C-Man anytime we're talking movies, TV, trailer reactions, you want to be here for the rest of the trailer reactions on Super Bowl Sunday, um, you just want to show a little love and support because you, you dig the old C-Man's vibe. Well, hey, come join C-Maniac Nation. Great place to do all those things. And all you got to do is jump over there, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell if you want those alerts. And until next time for the C-Man's Cinema Sit Down, I've been the C-Man. I'm signing off. Peace. 
Oh, <laughs> you guys are still here. You snuck up on me. You must be looking for more of this guy. Well, I got two video options for you, man. Right up here and right over here. And if you want all those C-Man goodies, well, hey, come join the squad right on over there. And I'll catch you on the next one.